Hello everybody, welcome back to another story time. If you're liking these, I am very happy if you're not. I stand by the other videos, good. Do not enjoy them then. No, jokes aside. Um, I'm gonna tell a bit of an interesting story today about Daisy and her response to moving, and I will make a longer video about it. However, pretty much, as you can imagine, Daisy's really skittish. So, moves were not a good thing with her. She really did not like moving. Daisy really does not like large spaces. We've had her in a house that was a bit bigger, and she almost never came out. She really, really does not like big places. When we first actually got her, I was living in a studio apartment, and I was very concerned that it was too small for her. Oh, hi, Mo. You come to join? And I actually felt really bad. That's how small I thought it was, right? It was one bedroom. That's it. Like, literally just one floor. So I kind of felt bad, as if maybe I hadn't didn't have enough room. It was a t really tiny little area. I mean, it just had a bathroom, and that was it. it that was the only door that actually existed, which is kind of how it is here, too, right now, although we have this door. Yes, I'm not kidding. This is the only door, is this bathroom door. But, um... Yeah, so she doesn't like big places. I felt bad we moved, right? And I thought it'd be great. I thought she would love when we moved. I thought she'd be so happy to move. Bigger place and everything, she hated it. She absolutely hated it. I've never, like she just never was comfortable. She was never happy. So the place in question that I'm talking about is actually still this place. It is the same place. However, this is a completely renovated version of the place. Much nicer. Has an upstairs now and a screen and porch. So much nicer for them. However, uh, she kind of remembered coming back here that this was her original house. And was... Oh, they're watching a caterpillar. <laughs> oh, no. But she actually remembered that this was her original house location, even though the whole place was completely bulldozed and rebuilt again. So, really interesting that she does not like large spaces, and I also find it fascinating that she almost instantly remembered, even though we opened her carrier upstairs where she would have no proper representation, and she was really, really, really scared. She seemed really upset, like usual. Sadly, she's very skittish, and anytime we've moved, she's hated it, but she stuck her head I will show, right there, and looked out and around and realized that this door is in the same spot, and she stared at the door for a bit and then got really happy and was instantly comfortable in the new house. So I thought that was cute. I'll probably do a really long, like, half an hour story time of actually moving in and out of each house that we have had her move in and out of. It is a bit because We've gone back and forth while this place was being built between two other houses. And she really didn't like it, and I really hated doing it, but in the end she's in a really nice place. She really likes it, she's very comfortable, she loves Moo. So it all worked out really well in the end, I'm very happy. But yeah. So that's the area. And there are the cats.